So, I just want to say, welcome to Assassin's Creed. Uh, you just saw the Assassin's Creed. Uh, you just saw the, in the first part of the intro of the game. Uh, this is the first one. I have seen the movie. That was... I didn't really like the movie that much, but the uh, ending was pretty cool. So, I really hope that they make a, new, uh, a second one of the Assassin's Creed movie. And then hopefully they... I have played, uh, I have played, the, uh, all of the, uh, Assassin's Creed game, but, yeah. So, I hopefully I can, like, love this game. Uh, I am doing, I, I will be finishing up, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and... The Game of Thrones. And in the other games that I'm playing on my YouTube channel, I'm playing, I'm going to be finishing that up. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this game. And uh, this is blind. I have no idea what's uh, supposed to happen. I only play, like, maybe the beginning of this game, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, I just messed around a little bit to uh, to get the controllers down. But, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, show it some love. I really want to hit like 1,000 likes uh, if that's possible. If not, then that'll be okay. So, um, yeah. Let's do this. So, I'm gonna... on for you guys so um so you guys can do it but I can't find the subtitles oh god what's happening oh god what's happening I can't oh what I can't see anything oh, god what is happening Animus. It's an animus. 
I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are, what you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. A wise decision. back in here so I'll try not talk over the characters that much but uh, yeah I'm wondering if this is represents off the movie because I remember that there's two doctors a girl and a boy and that's what they have in here um, and because the guy represents how in sync you are with your ancestors memory. Okay. If you ever follow completely out of sync, the animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. Because the guy that concept to control the actions of your ancestor. Unloading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. 
Because the guy that you just saw. Uh, what? To walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. No! Damn, man! What? You told me to press circle! Oh, oh, oh okay. Whoa, stop landing. Just hold to press. What? Oh, okay. Never mind. You have to hold circle. You can't press it. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, I see. I see. What the hell? What the heck? What? Damn it, man. I'm doing it right. Okay. Oh god. You can't I can't let go. Oh wait, 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 bitch. Whew. Okay. Let's go. Cause the guy you saw in the cutscene there looked just like the guy off of the movie. Fundamental action. Uh what? Profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Press the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteer. Jump. Blend. Excellent. Oh, uh, what? Continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Good. He, he was on it. His legs were on it. Using your leg button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a main target. However, be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance. And tumble to the ground. Okay. Reach the marker before this man does. Oh, what what marker? Oh, come on, move, let me move. No, 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 no. let me go. Oh. Did I do it? What the heck? What was he doing? He's just walking. He's... Damn it! No, no, no. Oh. Well done. I just was impressed. Holding X down. Uh, the what? will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. Okay, so red is bad sign. Will be explained in context soon. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate the soldier. First, lock onto your target. Uh, I... Now, select your hidden blade. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. <gasps> Woo! Man, this guy is a beast! Uh oh. Crap. Processing. 